In this video demonstration, we're going to briefly go through how to use the Sharp Tools Thing State Event Plugin within Tasker. So I'm going to set up a simulated presence device, or I already have it set up, but I'm going to set up some widgets that allow me to toggle the device as arrived or departed. Uh, and then I'm going to subscribe to the presence attribute of the device and react to it in Tasker. So to start with, we'll long press on the screen and add a widget. We'll use the Thing widget. When this comes up, I'm going to select the device type of simulated presence sensor, and I will select the arrived command, which is the default. I'm going to change the label of the widget to say uh, arrived and save it. Then I'm going to set up a departed widget as well. So again, this isn't uh, something you'd need to do um, for a normal present sensor. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And so you can see how the widgets functionality works as well. So again, we'll select present sensor, simulated present sensor. And this time we're going to change the command to departed. So similarly, we'll change the name to departed. Now that we have this set up, we're going to go into sharp tools. And within our things UI, we'll scroll down and find our presence devices. So here we have the simulated presence device. And we'll long press on it, which will give us an option to subscribe to the attributes of the device. For this particular device, we have just the presence attributes. So we'll tap on that to subscribe to it. And you'll see in a second, a star shows up here next to the simulated presence device. So now that we have a subscription, the star shows up indicating that we're subscribed to the attribute. We can continue on into Tasker. So let's open up Tasker. And I'll go into my demo profiles. So I'll set up a new profile using the plus symbol in the bottom right. Select event. And we'll select the plugin category. Within this, we'll select sharp tools and thing state. So now we have the option to edit the configuration of the thing state. So we'll click the pencil. And here we can choose a set of optional filters. We can either leave the filters completely blank, in which case any attribute that we're subscribed to will uh, trigger this event, or we can set in the filters. So for the thing name, uh, our thing name was sim underscore presence, P-R-E-S. And so we could do that if we want, but we can also do partial matching. So I'm going to partially match just on sim. So this means any device that has the word sim in it will get matched, whether that was uh, sim1, sim2, wife's sim, my sim, etc. It would show up here. Uh, a use case of that might be you might use the word Android. So any device that is an Android presence device which shows up. If you put the word Android as the thing, then all Android devices will be matched. All devices that have the word Android in their name. We could optionally leave the attribute field blank, and that would match all, all of the things that we have matched any attribute of those. But if we want to match a specific attribute, we can. So in our case, we can put in presence and click apply. So now we're, we're presented with a couple of variables here in the description, st attribute name, value, as well as the thing name are the three ones that are usually most important. So we'll keep those in mind as we move on to the next section. As we back out, we're presented with the uh, option to create a new task. So we'll do that, and I'll leave the task name blank. I'll click the plus symbol at the bottom to add a new action. And in this case, I'm just going to select a notification under the alerts category. So this is where you'd select whatever action you want to have happen whenever the uh, attribute is changed. So whenever a notification is received to the device or a push event is received to the device, what do you want to have occur? So in my case, I want to create a notification. So we'll create alert, notify. And I'm just going to put in the title and text here. So I'm going to put in uh, the attribute name for the title. So st attribute underscore name. And for the text, I'll go ahead and put in the uh, attribute value. So that's st underscore attribute underscore value. And we'll go ahead and before we save that, um, we'll scroll down to the if section. So this is where you can make this conditional. 
And so in our case, I don't want this to occur all the time. I only want it to occur whenever the, um, the attribute value is present. So to do that, we'll put in the, on the left side of the if condition, we'll put st underscore attribute underscore value. And on the right, what we want to match. So whenever that presence value matches the word present. The key thing here is if you use all lowercase, um, Tasker will match both uppercase and lowercase values. So if you use any uppercase values in your, your value, it'll only match exactly that uppercase value. So now that we're done with that, we'll back out. Task looks good. And the profile looks good. Let's go back to the home screen. And to start with, I'm going to hit Departed just to make sure that the simulated presence device is uh, set in, in an away condition. And now we'll hit the Arrived button. And what we expect to happen is this will go out and tell Sharp to, uh, Smart Things, excuse me, to make the device be present. And then we saw in the uh, notification here that we got the word presence is present. Just real quickly so you can see that, that whenever you hit Departed now, actually let me clear this out. Whenever we hit Departed, you'll see that no notifications come through. Now if we want to change that so it matches everything, any, any value, we could do that by removing this condition. Again, this condition is only letting the notification action occur whenever ST attribute value is equal to present. So if we want to say, nope, we just want it to happen anytime, we can do that, press back to save. Now when we hit arrived, we'll see it go out and make the change to the device type and we get the notification. So I'll swipe that away. Now if we hit departed, similarly we should set uh, an away condition now at this point, and we see now the presence is not present.